Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we have a frauditor that has been suspended from posting any new content to YouTube for one week because he was, in his own words, harassing and bullying a cop. He even admits that the allegations that YouTube are saying against him are true. Now, the timing is pretty ironic because the frauditor is John Felix and we were supposed to have a debate yesterday, but because he's suspended, he's not even able to go live on his channel. So the debate has been postponed till next week, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Without further ado, enjoy the video. I wonder if anyone's going to show up to my second channel here. <clears throat> if you do show up, hopefully some people will show up and wonder what happened to my first channel. Uh, I made a video about 45 minute video last night about a border patrol agent who a guy gave the middle finger to so he turned around and harassed him and brought 10 more cops and cop cars to harass him john eagle what's up bro if you could please share this dude so i'm suspended from youtube for a week from uh the original john felix channel um what else? Great dude. Man, thank you so much for coming, guys. I didn't think anyone would show up here. So, I'm suspended for a week. The bad part is, the good part is, I don't even know how to frame all this. I made a video about a Border Patrol agent named... Um, he pulled over a gentleman named Javier Quintero. Go to Javier Quintero's channel and watch parts two through... Parts two through four to see the video I'm talking about. Um, this person, I don't want to get, see, I got, when you have to self censor, bro, it sucks. And I made a video. He pulls this guy over. He gives him nine different reasons he pulled him over. None of them were RAS or PC to pull him over. He's got horse teeth. The name of the video was Horse Tooth F Face, BP Agent, Border Patrol Agent Marshall Bayer. Again, if you want to watch it, watch parts two through four on uh, Javier Quintero's channel to see what I'm talking about. So, oh my God, there's 32 people in here. Thank you so much, everybody. Please share this so people understand why I'm suspended on my original channel. I think I'm just going to rename this channel John Felix, too. So... I made this 45 minute video where I cussed and I used my free speech and I called him what he was because of his actions and I ranted and I raved and I went nuts and I went crazy and I published it for my paid subscribers only and within an hour, hour and a half, it's removed for cyber bullying and something else. So somehow he thinks that because he made it members only, he should be allowed to post whatever he wants. The thing that he doesn't understand is that this isn't his personal website. YouTube is a private company. They have their guidelines and you cannot cyber bully, threaten, or just go completely nuts on people. I can't even imagine what he said for YouTube to take down the video. I know that the title of the video was extremely derogatory. He was comparing the guy to a horse, which is very disgusting. But, you know, what else do you expect from these cop haters? So, hey guys, Joe Cool, six foot five, in case you didn't know. Um, so, I, literally, I made a video about a, a Border Patrol agent who's harassing and bullying an American citizen on the roadway. And they struck my channel for a week, gave me a strike because I was harassing and bullying the cop who was harassing and bullying an American citizen. So you heard it right out of his mouth. He's admitting that he was harassing and bullying the cops just because in his warped mind, he believes that the cop is harassing and bullying someone when in fact he's just doing his job. So right out of his mouth, he admitted that the allegations from YouTube are true. 
Um, I still have the video. I tried to upload it to uh, Ed Stanislaw. Apply your butt hurt cream? Oh, okay. Okay, bro. Sounds like you're butt hurt if you're here saying that stuff. If you're butt hurt, man, I'm sorry, bro. Um, maybe you can lend your cream out to the other people. What the hell was I saying? Is that why you can't read the damn comments? Javier Quintero. Quint Javier Quintero. Where am I going with this? Oh, I still have the video. I tried to upload it to Rumble at least 14 times. Rumble, dude, you are, I hate to say it, but you're no competition for YouTube. They're logistically, they're so easy to use, so easy to upload. There's never any glitches. And supposedly Rumble is this free speech platform. Every time I go on there, first you needed a separate app just to upload. That would always fail. Now, supposedly within the app of Rumble, you can upload. So I try, oh, cool, they've updated it. Upload. After 14 tries, uh, upload is canceled. Retry, retry, retry. Yeah, retry so it gets canceled again. Uh, I'm going to publish this video somewhere. Bitch, shoot, Rumble, I don't give enough. Sorry that you don't like that I bullied a public servant who was bullying an American citizen. Think about the logic in that. Uh, frauded or troll. I emailed fraud or troll. I will no longer be doing. You want to debate me? It's going to be on my channel. You can. We could share. You could present your evidence. I'll do everything I can to accommodate you. But I'm going to debate people one on one. I'm not going to have three, five people in the thing. I sent fraud or troll the copyright strike and told we were supposed to debate this Friday night. And uh, house of a thousand excuses. What? What does that even mean, dude? I'm confused. Are you a protagonist or an antagonist? So, again, why did I read that? Topic of the debate, auditors versus fraud. Auditors and the people who hate them. They're, he's going to prove to me why we're the bad guys. We're the ones causing the problems by exercising our rights. And I'm going to counter that's a pretty fair depiction of what's going to happen. I am going to prove to him why he's in the wrong and he's going to try to counter. That's perfectly fine. All I asked him is that I'm able to show evidence of what I'm talking about. So I don't know if he'll be share screening or I'll be allowed to share screen, but I want him to see that what I'm saying is just not pulled out of my ass. Like what the frauditors do, like it's actual facts. So I will bring receipts. And it will be interesting. It truly will be interesting because especially in the last couple of years, there's more and more proof that shows that frauding in the way they do it is illegal. It's proven time and time again. So that's going to be very interesting. And he is telling the truth. This strike did happen. He did show me proof that he got a strike. And when you get a guideline strike, it's not like a copyright strike. You are not allowed to post for one week. So I do believe that's the only reason he postponed the debate. But next week, I'm 100% sure it's going to go down without any issues. So for you guys, the subscribers, you're going to be watching it on my channel. Obviously, I want to support the clown. We're going to have a lot more people here than over there anyways, even if he has a quarter million subscribers. And it's going to be a blast. And then we're going to go from there. Uh, I'm sure it'll be lively. So I sent him the screenshot of where I'm suspended for a week. So what's today? Thursday. I'm not going to be able to post again till next Thursday or Friday on, on my original channel. Oh, someone's at my door. Let me grab my body cam. Maybe they're not. So. Yep, you heard that right. Every time someone shows up to his door, whether it's the mailman or anybody, he whips out his body cam. You really can't make this shit up. It's like these guys are addicted to recording people. Uh, Rumble, you suck, dude. You suck. You don't pay. Uh, it's hard to understand how your platform works. Logistically, it doesn't work. Um... Suspended for a week. I sent fraud or troll. Pathetic fraudsters comedy gold. 
Ed, do you want to have a live debate, or are you just one of those keyboard cowards? Because at this point, I think you're an antagonist. But whatever. Do your thing, bro. Whatever refills your butt cream prescription, you do it, okay? So I sent the screenshot of where I'm suspended to fraud or troll. I told him I can't do the debate till next Friday. If he uses that as an excuse that he can't wait a week, I mean, he's waited 48 years so far to debate me. If he can't wait another week and he uses that as an excuse, whatever. Okay, so this is a very interesting statement. He says that I've been waiting for 48 years to debate him. Dude, I haven't been alive for 48 years. How could I have been waiting for 48 years? Anyways, clearly this guy is not working with a full deck of cards, but that's okay. He's a frauditor. We'll give him a pass on that one. But yeah, I'm definitely not backing out. There's nothing that's going to make me back out from this debate. I'm actually really looking forward to it because like I said before, this guy's a quarter million subs. Some people look up to him in the frauditing community, even though he's a little bit washed out at the moment. So it's going to be a nice challenge. I am looking forward to it. You keep pressing the button and it keeps saying something great is coming to rubble soon. What's so great that's coming to rumble? You haven't paid me? I've been on rumble for what, three years? I even tried there. Like there's videos of mine on there. I don't even know how they got on there. And every time I look at my earnings, it's one penny. But, you know, you open your YouTube app. I'm sorry, dude. Rumble, you want to be good. Copy YouTube the way they are now and then do additional better things on top of that uh, my wife bought me this mug when i turned 40 and i was so angry now i'm about to turn 48 and i'm even more angry i was so mad at this glass not even thinking in eight years from now i'll be like i want to go tony soprano on this thing uh, my wife and i are watching the sopranos right now and uh, i reflect a lot on that i'm not a gangster or nothing but i think if you took big pussy and tony Soprano and they had a baby. That might be me. I don't look a day over 40. You're full of crap, dude. Uh, so that's the skinny. Plus, uh, I got a I'm getting charged with trespassing without warning. No trespass warning. See, these are videos I really wish I had a producer, man. Frank Pants, how are you, sir? From the 216. I'm from the 440. That's called the suburbs, baby. The suburbs of 216. Uh, wait till you hit 60. Thanks, man. Honestly, I hope I make it to 60, but you, I mean, you're making it sound awesome. Don't get me wrong. Uh, what else? They're trying to serve me a trespass. Uh, Pasco County Tax Collector's Office has filed false police reports against me, and they're charging me with trespassing on the curtilage of the property that I had already left when they told me and only returned onto the curtilage of the property, the outside area, after the police showed up when I called them to come and I gave them my court order and all four cops, including Lieutenant Rollerson, this is the second time committing conspiracy against me. He showed up there, went straight to the back. They were taking so long. I said, I said, I got to go, dude. I have something to do. They're like, oh man, please stay for like five, 10 more minutes. Can you please stay for like five, 10? I go, I'll give you five minutes. So five minutes was up. They're like, all right, we'll contact you. So the whole time they're in there committing conspiracy, when I called them about the security guard violating me, and they went there and committed conspiracy, took my court order that says I'm allowed to be there doing what I'm doing, ignored it, took their false police report, which 83705 of the Florida statutes, it's illegal to make false police reports. <laughs> took their statement saying that they believed I was recording just because I was wearing a body cam. And what he's doing right now, it's pretty serious. He's accusing them of committing conspiracy. So he's literally accusing them of committing a crime. It could be considered slander if it's unproven. And obviously these guys never have any proof. If I were him, I would watch my words. But then again, these guys are not known for watching their words. They're known for putting their foot in their mouth every single time. And they saw a light flashing on it. So let me show you the body cam real quick. There it is, right? If you see that little thing right there, it's a, it's a little camera. And when you hit record, it vibrates and it starts recording. You see how it's blinking right there? So it was on me like this. It was on me like this. And he, he saw a light flashing on the top. Now you see it's recording. 
but there's no flight light flashing on stop up top there's nothing see it see the two lights nothing so i told him it was on standby he couldn't handle it and that light that just came on that's like infrared or something as an automatic infrared so i told him and he's like oh no 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 i don't believe you take that off you know someone tells me to take off my body can would be the same as if i go to mcdonald's or somewhere and tell them to take off their uniform if you're a journalist part of your uniform are cameras Sorry, government, public sector workers, that you, you don't like the fact that the free press and technology have met now and that we have the ability to conduct free press without being a multi-billion dollar conglomerate international news agency. I'm sorry that hurt your feelings, but this is the new world. We still are free press. It's still on the books, regardless if you've ever enforced it and hate it as public workers, including police. But that's the deal. That's where we're at. Oh, I think this is the cop. I gotta go. Oh, I just hung up on him like an idiot. I gotta go. I meant to hang up on you guys. See you. All right, so that's the end of the video. I've been told by people from the Masshole Report that he went on their panel at some point and then he rage quit. He wanted to debate, but he just ran away. So hopefully he doesn't do that. I mean, this time it will be on his turf. So maybe he'll feel a little bit more comfortable having a conversation. I guess time will tell. Now, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I live here.